my name is John Thibault and I am a cartoonist turned artist. I'm self-taught. I grew up in a small town in Michigan and was into cartoons and drawing at a very young age and uh, started out with the typical cartoons that kids liked back then, anything that was in the paper, uh, comic books, Richie Rich, Archie, got into Mad Magazine and when I was about 12 I got into some of the old mad cartoonists like uh, Harvey Kurtzman and Will Elder. This is an homage to some of their work from the uh, early 1950s. It's an effective way to communicate an idea. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's generally very vibrant and colorful. And I think with, with a, a minimal amount of lines and elements, you can say a lot with cartoons. It can be a one panel cartoon, which gets an idea across. It can be a, a comic strip or an entire graphic novel but it's a, it's a good medium to work in. Sometimes you use words, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's just pictures. But you put words and pictures together and it's exceptionally powerful art. I had done some cartoon strips that on a monthly basis years ago, but I never used recurring characters. I just uh, would do whatever appealed to me at the time and use characters that worked for the particular uh, piece I was doing. And the same with the paintings. Uh, they're usually one-offs. One idea and then that's it. Probably wouldn't revisit it again necessarily. Uh, just a uh, kind of like a one-panel cartoon. You have the characters there once and then you don't see them again. Sometimes it's based on, it could be a cityscape or a street scene or something like that as well. So there might be no characters in some of my work, but I think it still has a cartoony element. It's bold colors and strong lines and very graphically uh, oriented. Life's complicated enough, so these are, are not very complicated paintings. I mean, generally, if something comes, there might be an element of truth that comes out in a, in a simple painting, but to keep them uncomplicated is probably yeah, it's indicative of, of my personality, I suppose, because it's, it's a good way to say things. It's, a, it's an easy way to get an idea across through simplicity. And again, that comes partly out of cartooning, too. You try to pare things down to a minimum of words, a minimum of lines and images, and say something. I think there is an appeal there, and I think sometimes you have to get over people's aversion to what they see as a, as a, a juvenile art form, which in the past 20 years in America, it's, it's grown up quite a bit. Art Spiegelman, with his work with uh, Mouse, for instance, guys like Daniel Klaus and Robert Crumb, of course, and uh, Linda Berry and a whole host of other people are taking the comic medium and really helping it grow up specifically here in America. I mean, the art form was invented pretty much here in America, and it hasn't gotten the respect that it's needed uh, until very recently. Whereas in Europe and Japan, there's a lot more, I think, uh, gravitas and a lot more, uh, just a lot more respect given to the, the art of cartooning. But then again, you had the whole pop art thing that came out of people that loved cartoons and elevated that that looked to fine art. I uh, chose to work in Brooklyn, lived in Manhattan for three years and had a studio in Brooklyn. And then my wife and I moved from Manhattan to Brooklyn uh, last year. You can feel a little more human in Brooklyn. And to work and live in Brooklyn, it's, it's beautiful. I, I can bike to work and um, still be home and work in a place that's uh, four, five stories high instead of 60, 70 stories high. The art form, the comic art form, has been taken so much more seriously the past 20 years. I think more people are working that the aesthetics of comic art into fine art. I, I think you, you've got places like SVA that have um, courses on cartooning, and I think that, as well as uh, Cal Arts, is bringing up a lot of young people through the cartoon aesthetics of art into the world of fine art and anime too. I mean the, the kids that are in their uh, in school right now in, the tw in their teens and 20s are getting so into the Japanese art now too and it's beautiful and it, it is it's definitely translating onto the canvas as well. I, I see yeah there's an appreciation for the old pop artists but there's so much going on with 
uh, comics and cartoon art right now, it's definitely affecting fine art. It most certainly is. All right, you're welcome. Thanks. Thank you.